this is the Android architecture here. So what is uh, Android, I mean, what is this Android architecture? And how are we going to use this Android architecture? So first, th this architecture is divided into different stacked layers. So different layers. So the bottommost layer is going to be the uh, Linux kernel level layer. So kernel is going to be something uh, which which basically acts as the uh, medium between the high level application software and the low level hardware. So, so kernel is something which, which is going to interact with the hardware. And how is it going to interact with the hardware? So basically we have the high level applications. So applications we would have written applications using Java. And these applications use us a few things like a framework, like, like basically an API will be exposed. So uh, that based on that API, API in the sense application programming interface, what it happens is it basically provides the, uh, the classes and the methods which are required for the development purpose. So all these things will be exposed. So once uh, we know which, which or what has to be used at a specific point of time, we shall just use that particular uh, you know, framework and we'll just use those libraries which are related to the framework and we the applications you know like works like if you have a camera device so let, let me just take an ex real time example itself how this framework is going to be supported and uh, how are we going to use all these things so first thing is uh, we'll have something like uh, you know uh, an app which is present on the application level layer we'll call that app as to be a camera application. And now a camera application has a camera hardware. So which is outside the scope of this architecture because hardware doesn't come under this one. Now assume that there is something like camera here and camera and the operating system are connected through the camera driver which is present in the kernel portion. And now what happens is the application which is present in the application stack uh, or the application layer here we'll have the framework library that is the camera framework which is present here so that application talks to the camera framework and the camera framework in turn accesses this camera libraries and the drivers which is present in the Linux, la Linux kernel la layer here so as the communication happens here between the different layers of the Android architecture which, which helps you in talking to the Android I mean talking to the physical device that is the camera and helps us in getting the picture out of a real world, you know, a, a real environment thing. You might have a question here like runtime here. So we have like core libraries and what is the runtime that you will be using for Android here. So Android uses a default runtime which is called as Dalvik Virtual Machine. So basically it converts, I mean it takes in all the Java class files it is uh, Java source files will be converted to class files and all these class files will be combined and then put together and it also takes in all the resources which are required for the Android uh, app. So basically app will not be designed only using the source code. So uh, you you might have also seen some uh, UI like, like uh, if you take in WhatsApp as an example, WhatsApp you can customize the user interface that is you can just put your friends or or, or an environment or, or a beautiful landscape as the background for your WhatsApp. So all these things, so basically like all the resources, images and all those things can be put and all the Java classes and everything put combined together. A Dalvik virtual machine will process that and it would generate something called as a DEX file. So which we will be uh, using to run on uh, that particular device. And now, Coming back to the next, you know, tools and next options, that's called as DDMS. So what do you mean by DDMS? So DDMS is basically a tool, basically a tool which is integrated with Android. And now what is the use of this tool? So DDMS means Dalvik, uh, you know, device debug monitor, uh, which is now changed the, I mean, I mean they've just now changed the name as, na name of the DDMS to Android device monitor. So basically this DDMS is a tool which we will be using to check our device status. So uh, what do you mean by device status? If you have that question, so device status is going to be something like uh, 
you know what is the amount of memory that the device is going to be consumed i mean at where uh, which exact place the app is breaking or uh, how much memory is being consumed or if you are you know working with some sms based application so how do i you know make the sms visible uh, in my uh, i mean onto my emulator so all these things uh, we shall just uh, all these things we shall just uh, do it using the ddms option so basically how to you know spoof an sms or if you are uh, planning to uh, build an app on google maps or gps based apps then how to you know spoof your positioning and uh, how to how to get some information based on uh, the signal strength of your device and all those things so these things can be determined using ddms it's not only basically used for spoofing it's you can you can e even connect your physical device with your uh, uh, you know ddms option i mean physical device with your ddms and then make it work with it and you can check your device status and device memory options and all those things in the ddms option itself and why ddms is basically used is it is uh, you know basically used to monitor monitor and in order to debug it is basically used and how how will i use this ddms option so basically ddms is integrated with android studio so android studio comes along with ddms so how do i open it so just open android studio so this option which you see here can you see this option called as android device monitor so this is going to be the option now once you click on this android device monitor it's just opening that ddms option and now it's it, it takes a little bit of time to load yes this is the ddms option right now uh, this is the emulator which i'm running so now if i want to check the threads so i should just go here i want to check some heap memory i should just go here and check out what is the graph that is being used and if i want to check some allocation techniques and all those things or network selection and if i want to explore the files basically this is a simulator i mean an emulator you you might think that this emulator will have the same features as an android device yes it has the same features of android device it also has some memory so how to check or how to go into this and then check out what are the files present so if you just go to file explorer and explore the dd i mean explore that particular device you have the sd card option you have root and all these things just go there and explore what is present in that particular device so that's going to be about a brief introduction about ddms as i've told you so ddms is used to check so for viewing heap you can just go to that heap portion you could select your emulator and then or your physical device and then check out what is the memory status and all those things based on your device status and network tool that is i've shown you like uh, just now i just displayed you so what is the network status and all those things can be used or checked using ddms